Hey guys, welcome back to this video. In this video, we're gonna be doing the Among Us series part five. Big shout out to my friend Polaris Prague. He let me use the script. It's super epic. And um, yeah, let's start on. What you wanna be doing in, over here in Star GUI? You wanna get your imposter sabotage. Put it in Star GUI. Then go into your frame and open it. Then put in a text button and make the size fifty. The text is going to be door one. You're gonna make a text kill. You're gonna make it Gotham Black. Then we're gonna move on to the anchor point. 0 0.5, comma, 0 0.5. Then over here, 0 0.1, comma 0, comma 0 0.2, comma 0. Then make your uh, button red. Wh whatever color you want. Name the text button door one. Put in it a UI corner. So it's gonna automatically like get a curved thingy, so you don't need to use any of the, the those plugins. I hate them. Um, so that's already basic. You wanna go into your handler and type. I'll get a little, little bit like this. Script dot parent dot frame dot door one dot mouse button one click colon connect to a function of nothing. Okay. Then you wanna type local debug. No. Local debounce equals to true. If debounce equals equals to true, then debounce equals to false. Game dot workspace, and then go into your game. Click the UI button on the top. Insert a part. Oh no! Oh come! Oh no! Okay, good. Place your. If you look at this way, place your part over here. Make it a little bit of size. Make it a little bit thick, like thicky. Wow. Anyways, name it door one. Go into your Among Us system, duplicate a folder, and name it um, door sabotage. Put your door in it. Make sure it's anchored and it can collide is on. Make also sure so the transparency is going to be one. Close up everything. Go into your UI. Go into your handler and type game or workspace that among a system dot door sabotage or door one dot transparency is equal to uh, one no zero game dot workspace <clears throat> dot among a system dot door sabotage dot door one dot can collide is equal to false correction true copy and paste this line to this then put an end and you're gonna wait for five seconds then do the opposite transparency one can't collide false I believe I made a mistake go into over in your door and put the can't collide off sorry then we'll wait another five seconds and then it's the type debounce is equal to true let's test this out before we do so make your frame visible off Close everything up and put your imposter sabotage into the GUI. Play your game. Alrighty, let's see. Also, I gotta complain about someone like if you like. Uh, yeah. There, there was like this thing. I'll explain it in a bit. Anyways, um, round starting in three, two, one. Or an imposter. We get the sabotage menu. And let's see. If we click on door one, we're gonna get the door. We can press it multiple times. The door goes away, and we still cannot press it. So, what we're gonna be doing, go into our main system. Make this, um, I'm gonna make it 30 seconds. Sorry. I'm gonna make this 10 seconds. In your handler over here, you want to type script dot parent dot frame dot door one dot text. It's going to be on cooldown. Then over here, type script dot parent dot frame dot door one dot text. Is going to be door one.
Okay, let's see. <laughs> Choosing imposter. Sabotage. Click on cooldown. Ooh, that's a little bit small. Mm. Make your button a hundred by a hundred. Ooh, well, ah, fits perfectly. Player game. Already choosing imposter. Oops, okay, well, sabotage, door one on cooldown. Then there's this door, you cannot walk through it. And then you can walk through it, and it's still on cooldown. And now we can sabotage it again. And make it door one. If you want to do this with multiple doors, all you have to do is go into your imposter sabotage, uh, get your frame up. We're gonna make three of them. Boom, boom, door two, door three, door two, mm, door two, door three, door two is going to be on. Five. See what? Oh, this is going to be on four. Let's make it a three. Oops. Make it. Yeah, just make it a three. I make this one a five. Go into your script. <coughs> sorry, and duplicate it two times. Over here, type door 3, and replace everything with door 1 to door 3, or whatever you want. Over here, make it door 2. What you want to do now is close this up, visible off, and keep it in there. Now go into your workspace and go into your door one and uh, make it like. Yep. And then move it on the side over here. So now uh, name this one door two. And what I'm actually going to be doing is make it a little bit bigger. After you did that, you can go door two, over here, door three. Play our game again. As you can see, we can be able um, I think we messed up the script. Um, yeah. Mm. Yeah, over here, make it a debounce two, and then debounce three. Over here, replace your debounces with the debounce you told it to. Player game. Already choosing Impulsor. Okay, let's see. Door one. Oh no. Door two. Oh no. And then once this one. Yep, that one goes away. And then over here you can sabotage the third door, and then they cannot go through it again. And then over here you can sabotage these doors. So that's a quick system.
let me see if we can do something else. Okay. Mm. In your Among Us system, make a folder. Oh, oops, not a, not in here. You go into your scripts, and over here you can just do disable Roblox core. Okay, well that's something. Game that starts your GUI. Colon set core. Reset button callback to false. Player game. And as you can see, we cannot reset ourselves because that is what we killed the game to. Uh, one thing you also want to do is go into your replicated storage, find your character. Well, it's not even. I mean, where do we even store our character? Oh, wait, oops. You're gonna find the head and make it transparency 1. Because if you jump, you won't be able to see the head. Yep. This is a quick Among Us tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're gonna be fixing some bugs and maybe even making an uh, yeah, emergency system. Emergency, um, like... You know what I mean? Emergency call. Anyways, uh, this is one of the shorter videos. Sorry, but sorry for my inactivity. Uh, I got some personal things about school and all that stuff. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. <laughs>